the west coast of Newfoundland. Spectacular and unique. I couldn't believe it when I came to Clarebrook. The climate was so different. There was so much lush greenery around. There were actually trees here. Summer ran on into September and it was a beautiful like September summer. And I couldn't believe that we were having summer in September, right? There was no fog, there was no rain. So where's the fog and the rain? It's never foggy here. So you have a quarter of the highway ice, a quarter of the highway snow. The other quarter of the highway was raining and it was like the fall season. And then we get to Cornerbrook and it's bright and sunny. I was like, where on earth do you experience four seasons on one highway in one day? It's only a couple minutes off the highway. When you get to the end of the road, there's a big giant sand dune and it probably goes on for several kilometers. A little bit of grass there, it's a bit of a breeding spot for pike and clover. When you get over the top of the sand dune, there's about two and a half, three kilometers of nothing but sandy beach. There's lots of kids that go up there, uh, but only locally because no one else knows about our little paradise. And the plan is to go up and do a bit of body surfing before I start my call at six o'clock. Kitano's is one of the restaurants in town that's amazing. One night when I went last year and it was packed, they had guitar players, uh, cello players, piano, trumpet, saxophone, and I've never heard that range of instruments blend so well together. They're an absolute fabulous show. Every time we try to go out, we try to have the best time we can ever have. I have a great neighborhood here. Um, my next door neighbors, they all have kids, and it's like when I was young, uh, you know, when you used to go out and play in the backyard, my daughter gets to do that. She gets to go out and she gets to play with the neighbor's kids and, and you know, go on their swing sets, and it's, it's a really open, wonderful community in that way. And people say, why do you live here? It's like, number one is the air. It's so good and clean and fresh. And number two is the feeling of safety and security and being really, really comfortable in my community and being who I really am here. Challenge your body, challenge your mind. A world of unconventional wisdom and one of the best kept secrets in the world. <laughs>